my name is Lauren. Welcome to my channel. I am Cactus Pearl on Instagram and Ravelry. And uh, about three years ago, I started knitting all the time uh, because I wanted to learn how to do something that I had never done before. I have decided to start talking about all of my knitting on YouTube because I just spend loads and loads of time doing it. So today, I'm going to talk about some gift knitting I've been doing. And um, I found this book, Coffee House Knits, on Amazon a few months ago. And uh, it was one of those things where Amazon sends around a bunch of emails to you and recommends books to you. And, and I saw it and I'm like a giant coffee addict. So I decided I needed this. Um, I, of course, haven't bothered to, you know, read all of the essays and everything, although I'm sure they're great. But I just started knitting things for gifts because I really liked... Uh, the theme of what was going on here. So, the first one I'm going to show is the steamed mittens. And show them here. And I made these for my mom as a gift. And I made them a little bit long because she always has long nails and I wanted to kind of accommodate those. And I didn't mention, but I live in Arizona, and it's hot here, really hot most of the year, and uh, especially since I live in Phoenix. And so this is the one time of year, it's December, this is the one time of year that I actually get to wear things that I knit. So I kind of go a little nuts at this time of year and pile everything on, even though it's like 50 degrees outside at the coldest, <laughs> for the most part. Um, so these are the mittens. And... I don't know if you could see on here, but I did actually, uh, you know, make a mistake in the little pearl pattern that's on here, but I'm just going to call it a design embellishment. I did it exactly the same in both mittens, so I'm going with it. These mittens took me about mm, three days to knit all together. It wasn't too bad. Uh, they were pretty quick. I was watching a lot of Netflix while I was doing it. A lot of YouTube TV, that kind of thing. This is the other thing I made for my mom. It's called the Tassiography Cowl. I had to look up how to pronounce that. On here it explains that that's reading tea leaves. But I had no idea how to pronounce the word. Um, so this took me a while. Like, I really love cowls, I really love scarves, I love how they look, and they're one of the things that I can use in the winter here, but they take forever. And um, I don't have a lot of patience for like knitting the same thing over and over and over again for a really long time. So it takes a lot of discipline for me to get through things like cowls. And this is a pretty big one. I'm gonna kind of stand up so you can see. So, I really love how this turned out though. Like, this is so cool. And this yarn that I'm using is Madeline Tosh. The colorway is Flash Dance. Um, I really like how this turned out, especially in this cowl. And you can see this cowl, I think it's in um, what's referred to as sequence knitting where you knit the same thing over and over and over again and it creates a pattern. So you can see that basically it's like six stitches over and over and over again and you just change the way they're sequenced over time and it creates this kind of pattern. You can see it better this way too. Now when I knit this and I finished it up, um, and, and I bounded off the needles, I, it was starting to curl under and I, I kind of panicked because I was like, oh no, you know, like I spent all this time knitting this thing and I really liked it until I bound it off and then it was all curled and, and I was just kind of freaking out that it was going to be this weird looking thing around her neck. Um, but luckily I really, really just blocked it really a lot. And as a result, it opened up all the yarn overs and the, the curling went away completely. So I was really happy with that. Um, I would definitely recommend this as a gift knit. 
because it's it's great for just sitting there like watching TV knitting because it's just the same stitch, same six stitches over and over and over again. But it comes out as something really pretty, and it I really would um, I think a variegated yarn looks good with this. I think it would be a lot more interesting than just a plain yarn. So yeah, I would recommend both of these. These are both great gift knitting. And um, I'm going to knit more books out of this. More, <laughs> I'm going to knit more patterns out of this book. So you might see me talk about more of them coming up soon. Thank you for watching my channel. I'm going to talk about more patterns next time.